Hello there. First we'll go to splines and then we'll create a helix. So I forgot to uh, click a few times to make it stick. And now I'll go to parameters. And I will make sure that both the radius are the same. And just give it a height. Then I will enter extrude mod modifier and make sure that the extrude has gaps uh, we'll increase the height a bit here i'm increasing it so that the extrude has some place to actually work because it was very small back then now you can see that it's kind of has taken its shape and then we'll just give it need to give it a bit of a background and uh, all the edges will be flipped so you have to select everything and then just uh, flip it so we have added an edit modi uh, edit poly modifier on top of it or you can just collapse the stack we'll click on flip we'll connect these two edges here bridge it and then we'll go to the last one uh, do the same there Then we'll select border now that's the border been formed inside and it won't go outside we'll just click it then select go to edges these select these ones and now every uh, edge that's facing each other will be braced now we'll go to face selection and now every face that's been braced is selected So now we can go to um, extrude and click on that. We'll just extrude it out a bit. We'll just instead bevel it uh, to give it a more better shape. Click to local normals and then uh, decrease it a bit. Decrease this a bit as well. Now the one thing left to do is the top and bottom, uh, those are not uh, planar, so we'll make them that. We'll select the borders and uh, align it to z-axis. Then move it up like this. Now you can see that there's a bit of a weird thing going on here, so we'll just select that vertex and collapse it. Same thing with the one below is we'll like the border align it to Z axis move it down select that uh, glitching vertex and collapse it this will just uh, collapse every vertex to one vertex then we'll select that to remove the triangulation now this is a quad We'll select that one as well and hit uh, backspace to remove it. Now it's a quad based topology. Now we will go there and add a turbo smooth modifier, and you can see that it works perfectly. So there you go, that's your result of how you can add a uh, threading to a screw or a light bulb.